Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. Acting Administrator Robert Lightfoot discussed our fiscal year 2018 budget request on May 23rd during his State of NASA address. We've got $19.1 billion um, as an agency, and it really reflects the President and the Administration's confidence in us. Lightfoot thanked employees and attributed that confidence reflected in the budget proposal to the work of thousands of people. We have a historic and enduring purpose as an agency. And that historic and enduring purpose is really around three major strategic themes in my mind, right? It's discover, explore, and develop. Astronauts Peggy Whitson and Jack Fisher successfully completed an unscheduled spacewalk outside the International Space Station on May 23rd to replace a failed computer relay box that helps regulate the radiators, cooling loops, and other station hardware. They also installed a pair of antennas to help improve wireless communications on future spacewalks. This was Whitson's 10th spacewalk, moving her into third place on the all-time list for most cumulative spacewalking time. It was the second spacewalk for Fisher. Another successful test of an RS-25 engine flight controller on May 23rd, the second in a series. The flight controller, or brain of the engine, helps it communicate with our Space Launch System, the world's most powerful rocket. Four RS-25s will help power SLS on its inaugural flight with the Orion spacecraft known as Exploration Mission 1. Data from our Kepler spacecraft have been used to confirm suspected details about the orbit of TRAPPIST-1H, the outermost and least understood of the seven Earth-sized planets scientists recently announced are in the TRAPPIST-1 system about 40 light years away. The Kepler data helped astronomers determine the planet orbits its star every 19 days. But at 6 million miles away, on the edge of the cool dwarf star's habitable zone, TRAPPIST-1H is likely too cold for life as we know it. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov talk.